family. family. Ako si Mama Ranchera. At ako si Papa Ranchero. And nandito kami ngayon sa aming napakagandang Palawan Farm. Ayan. So, welcome po sa ating first ever episode kung saan ibabahagi po namin uh, ang aming um, journey from our city lifestyle galing sa Angeles City, Pampanga. Uh, going to um, uh, a country lifestyle here in the province of Palawan. So, ayan po, bali sa first episode na to, matutunghayin nyo po uh, kung paano namin minove yung aming napakalaking SUV, aming tatlong pets, <laughs> at syempre, ang inyong lingkod, si Mama at Papa Ranchero. Ayan po, so maraming salamat po sa, sa pagsubaybay at naway ma-enjoy ma nyo po ang episode na ito. So, sino ba si Papa Ranchero? Ayan. So, si Papa Ranchero, currently, siya isang founder and CEO na isang tech startup based sa US. And uh, previously, the former founder and CEO na isang fintech startup sa Singapore where Papa Ranchero lived for more than six months. Mm -hmm. Ayan. So, how about si Mama Ranchero? So, si Mama Ranchero ay kasalukuyang senior manager ng isang English training program based sa Japan. And right now, I just work at home. But uh, six years ago, I went to Japan for work. And uh, since then, I'm uh, lagi na ako sa bahay na go work. And now, I'm a senior manager. So, bakit tayo nag transition from city lifestyle to country lifestyle? Ayan. So, well, based sa background natin dalawa, so... Um, lagi lang tayo nasa bahay since uh, because of the pandemic our work is mostly home based yeah. and then um, realizing the fact na kung kaya naman pala lahat gawin sa bahay ng ating career uh, without sacrificing anything um, why stay in the city mm -hmm. right I mean uh, the living expenses is so high um, and then the pollution mm -hmm. uh, the yung dami ng tao, population. Mm -hmm. uh, so, being born and raised tayong dalawa sa province, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's just uh, inevitable for us to go back to our roots and to have a country lifestyle. Yeah. Ayan. So, kaya nung after natin ma-realize yun, we actually searched different properties first at our lock, mm -hmm. where we bought one property and then after that, uh, yun nga, nakita natin itong napakagandang um, uh, Palawan Farm uh, which is, magkano nga siya ulit? 270,000 pesos. Yeah, so <laughs> the exact size is 26,003 square meters mm -hmm. na lumalabas na almost 10, 10 pesos per square yeah. meters. So 2.6 hectares. Mm -hmm. uh, clean title din siya. Uh, hindi siya uh, carb or ano yung isa? Cloa, Cloa mother yan. title. So, so clean title yeah. siya. And okay na lahat when it comes to the documents in paper. So, yun. Ano yung mga pinagdaanan at saka ginasos natin sa pagpunta from Angeles City, Pampanga to the province of Palawan? So, from Angeles, we have to travel by land. Nag-drive kami sa Enlex papuntang Manila. And then, from Manila to Palawan, we used to go to travel by sea. Ayan. Ayan. So, ano, ano yung mga ginasos natin? Magkano yung total na nagasos natin for the passenger uh, expenses? Uh, sa Tugo. For the passenger, um, it's 4,820. 820. Ayan, para yan sa tatlong passenger, passenger yeah. sa tourist accommodation with four meals and minutes. Yeah. Ayan siya. And pagdating naman sa ating tatlong beloved cats. So, for the cats, it's uh, 900 mm. per uh, small cage. So, the total is 2,700 2, for the three cats. Ayan. Doon naman sa aming uh, rolling cargo para sa aming full-size SUV, um, including the the boxes, the, the cargo inside the car, 
uh, inabot siya ng around 40,000 pesos. So, it's a full-size SUV, uh, 2,002 20, Ford Expedition siya. So, malaki siyang sasakyan and para sa amin, uh, sulit na yung ginastos. Mm -hmm. Kasi same din naman yung rate sa ibang liners. But when it comes to the quality and safety ng sasakyan, mm -hmm. uh, to go yung uh, nagpakita ng mas magandang assurance pagdating sa aming, uh, sa safety ng aming SUV. Ayan. So, in total, for the passengers, 4,850, 20, yeah, 20 yeah. and uh, cats 2,700, and yeah. then the rolling, rolling cargo, cargo 40,000. 40, so, yun lahat yung nagastos namin from Angela City, moving to the province of Palawan. So, kamusta naman yung experience natin sa Tugu? Ayan. Uh, pagdating dun sa rolling cargo, uh, yung experience natin, since Wednesday, actually, yung uh, alis ng vessel, uh, Monday pa lang, uh, pinadala ng, nirequire na lang to go, nadalhin yung SUV sa port para may sakay na agad sa, sa vessel. Uh, kasi kailangan pa nilang uh, i-organize yung lahat ng rolling cargo, pati yung mga containers sa loob na, ng, ng vessel. Mm -hmm. uh, two days before um, mag-travel mag yung, yung barco. Uh, so, pagdating naman doon, uh, malaking tulong yung mga to-go um, uh, employees uh, since mas madali kasi kapag rolling cargo na face-to-face -face ng transaction since susukatin pa yung sasakyan. And makikita mo talaga personally kung saan nila ilalagay yung sasakyan bago ilagay isang pa sa barko. So, kudos doon pagdating sa, sa rolling cargo ng to-go flight. Ayan. So, paano naman doon sa passenger and pet? Sa passenger, it's actually good. So, sa check-in, uh, you have to be there like, uh, of course, like five hours or four hours mm -hmm. before. And then, uh, tatawagin nila yung name dun sa list. And then, once you are inside, uh, the Coast Guard will check if you have the, all the requirements. So, kung kompleto yung S-Pass requirements mo, kung meron kang S-Pass. So, kung meron kang S-Pass, ibig sabihin, nag-comply ka dun sa... LGU requirement. And then, um, after nung check-in, sasakay na. Before that, there is a temperature check since uh, this is the pandemic time. And then, for senior citizen, actually, they also check the blood pressure. Like that. So, it's actually good. So, and then, once na nasa barko na, um, igagay nila kayo sa accommodation. And then, okay naman yung accommodation. Um, okay din yung cafeteria na kainan and um, the comfort rooms are clean and um, okay siya for the passenger side. And then for the pets, um, it's actually very good. Meron silang sariling livestock area and then yung owners, they can visit um, their pets and they can feed them so, it was a good experience for the pets. Mm -hmm. Ayan, so, yun yung overall experience natin. Thanks to go. Thanks yeah. to go. Thank you. <laughs> so, ano yung mga observations natin nung una tayong makapunta dito sa farm? Ayan. Ako personally, pagdating natin sa farm, unang-unang ko napansin is underdeveloped yung more than half ng property. Mm -hmm. uh, masukal pa siya. Um, merong mga... Uh, for me, mga unnecessary bushes na kailangan natin ipaklear. Uh, of course, ipitira natin lahat ng mga importante kuno and halaman. Uh, keep the soil healthy. Um, yan, yun yung isa ko napansin. Another na observation ko is yung ating cornfield. Uh, which is more than one hectare, I think. Uh, so yun, talagang uh, perfect siya para sa ating uh, future plans. Uh, of course, to feed ourselves and then our future plans. How about you? Ano mga napag-chino? So, ako naman, um, meron, meron, marami siyang fruit-bearing trees like mangoes, uh, guavas, uh, banana, and calamansi. And also, bago ka makapasok ng property, merong uh, river frontage. And the river is wide, but shallow. And clear in the water. And we saw uh, some fingerlings. Ayan, so ano naman yung mga future uh, development sa business plans natin sa farm? So, 
So, uh, currently, nagpapatayo kami nung aming Bali-inspired wooden farmhouse. And we will also start our food production business uh, based on farm, like um, crafts, uh, vegetables, fruits. Yan. So, syempre, maglalagay din tayo ng iba't ibang livestock, ngayon ng chickens, uh, goats, pigs, cattle, and fishes, uh, to name a few. Ayan. So, doon iikot yung mga products and uh, services na i-offer natin sa market dito sa Palawan and hopefully nationwide in the yeah. future. Mm. So, ano na yung mga ginawa natin preparations uh, para sa ating uh, upcoming farm life? So, una, we did some research and um, we read some books about farming, growing, crops, and raising different kinds of livestock. Uh, Siyempre, uh, kami nag-aaral din ng, nag-take kami ng mga online courses. Specifically, doon sa Cornell Small Farm Program ng Cornell University sa yeah. US. Mm-hmm. This is very, very helpful. Uh, nanood din kami ng iba't ibang documentaries ng mga real, uh, real life farmers para yung mga failures and lessons and syempre yung mga wins din nila is uh, ma- matutunan natin uh, so may iwasan yung mga mali and ma-implement yung mga magagandang nagawa nila sa mga kanika nilang mga farms and syempre na-meet din natin yung previous oh. owner so nung na-meet namin yung previous owner tinanong din namin kung ano ba yung magandang crops na bagay sa lupa ng farm and sabi niya uh, corn or peanuts so mais or manik oh, uh, yung mga magaganda and nagulat din tayo na banggit din niya sa paligid ng farm. Uh, tumutubo rin pala dito yung dorian. Maraming dorian dito. Mm, dorian, rambutan. Uh, rambutan mm. and pineapple. Yeah. Ayan. So, yun yung mga potential na vegetables and fruits na pwede namin uh, itanim dito sa farm. So, dito po nagtatapos ang aming first episode. Kung saan nakilala nyo kung sino si Papa Ranchero and Mama Ranchera. Ayan. Tsaka kung saan din namin binahagi yung aming journey. Uh, moving from Angela City to the province of Palawan. Uh, lahat ng nagasas namin dito sa farm, pati na rin sa aming paglipat, uh, pati aming uh, future development at business plans sa farm. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you like this video, please like this and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, ka-family! Thank you! So, maraming maraming... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So, maraming maraming salamat po sa Tugo. Uh, Siyempre, special thanks din sa aming kaibig- mga kaibigan natin dyan sa Honda Philippines. Sa aming uh, brand new uh, dirt bike XM 125. And also sa broker namin para di sa Palawan Hill. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Uh, kung wala po kayo, mahirapan po ang aming for transition uh, from city living to country lifestyle. Maraming salamat po. Salamat!